big topic of a discussion here about the trades that your organization made over the weekend, saying goodbye to Jacob Rizzi and then designating Corey Dickerson for assignment. I know a lot of fans are frustrated. Some of your players are frustrated. First off, what are your thoughts on that? Well, I think the front office does a tremendous job of keeping uh, the staff informed. And we knew going in uh, this, to this offseason that we had to make some adjustments. And those are difficult decisions. They're probably highlighted a little bit more now that everybody was here in camp. Uh, but we understand it. Uh, I think, you know, it, it provides some opportunity for some of our young players that we've continued to harp on. But there's no doubt we're so appreciative of all the guys that spend times here. Jake Odorizzi, three years, and, and Corey Dickerson, too. You lose Jake Odorizzi, you have a young rotation now, and you're going to go a four-man rotation throughout May, or to, up until May because of the off days that you have yep. scheduled. Uh, how confident are you in some of these younger guys stepping up and filling in those roles that Jake had, and even Alex Cobb had, like Jacob Faria and Blake Snell? Yeah, young pitchers, and they, they showed some really strong starts, some really strong months, but it, it, knowing that they're going to go through their hiccups along with everybody, any other young player. So uh, we want to kind of give them a lane to go uh, work through that a little bit. And from what we saw, both those guys as the year finished up, they got a chance to be two pretty special pitchers for us. Your offense taking a hit with Corey Dickerson gone. Obviously, Evan Longoria, Logan Morrison, and Lucas Duda, those guys combining for almost 100 home runs out of your 225 that you guys had as a season. We're not going to see a lot of home runs hit this year. We know that. But are you confident that your offense would be able to fill those roles in different ways? Uh, we may not be seeing the long ball, but maybe maybe play small ball. What is your uh, philosophy on that? Well, we're not going to play small ball, and I'm not so confident that we're not going to hit the ball out of the ballpark. We had a guy, Brad Miller, that you know really had a rough year because of injuries. I mean, the year before he had 30 home runs. You look at KK, what he's done, he's kind of teetered on that power, power hitter. Uh, number for a while. I mean, we've got guys that are capable of hitting the ball out of the ballpark. We've got some youth and some, some unknown that we're looking to find out a little bit about spring training. But I think if you talk about our offense specifically, we would like to get a little more diverse with the thought of having that contact approach, some guys that can get on base. When you look at this organization as a whole, a lot of teams don't like to use the word rebuilding. I asked Chris Archer about that this morning. He doesn't think it's a rebuilding because of the veteran guys that you have and the experience and the young guys that you do have in camp. But would you agree? And what would you categorize this season as if it's not rebuilding? Maybe retooling? Yeah, no, none of those. You won't hear me say those words, or I'll try to avoid them as much as possible. Our job is to take the guys that we have in the clubhouse. Uh, find the best 25 and probably the best 40 that can help us throughout the course of the year and go compete. I'm confident that we'll be able to do that. What's your biggest challenge this year, knowing the roster turnover and a lot of the young guys? Um, harping fundamentals. You know, obviously we're, it's going to take some patience, but we're talented and we're talented on the pitching side of things and we're talented in, um, you know, with our young position players. But with some of those young guys, be patient, let them uh, develop at their pace. What kind of message would you have for all the race fans out there knowing that the changes you guys have made and then a lot of younger guys that they may not have even discovered yet? We're going to be okay. We're going to be just fine. We got guys that can pitch. We're going to catch a ball behind some of these special pitchers. We're going to play clean, good baseball. Kevin, thanks for your time. Thank you.